Now, Chelsea insists that they are continuing to comply with UEFA's and the Premier League's financial rules, despite the parent company that owns the club, Bluco, announcing losses of £653 million. As you can see, our chief reporter, Carve Solakol, is here. That's a massive loss. So how are Chelsea going to stay compliant? Well, look, basically what happened is two years ago when this group of investors bought Chelsea, they set up a new company called Blueco. And Blueco has filed its accounts for the first time. And those accounts show that they made a net loss of £653 million. Now, their turnover was £534 million, largely due to Chelsea. Now, the reason they've made such a big loss is really because they spent so much money on players, players like Enzo Fernandez, uh, Mudrik, Kukurea, Wesley Fofana. But this is the parent company of Chelsea. It is not Chelsea. Chelsea uh, is Chelsea FC Holdings, and they will be filing their accounts soon. But there was some information on Chelsea's website today about what we're likely to see in those accounts. And according to what's on the website, they say that they are going to report a record Record turnover of uh, 512 million pounds, and their losses have actually come down from 121.4 million pounds to 90.1 million pounds. So that is the important figure as far as Chelsea are concerned: 90 million pounds. The 653 figure that you're seeing, that is their parent company. Should Chelsea be worried or not? Well, look, I think if you uh, speak to a lot of football finance experts, they will say that obviously Premier League clubs are only allowed to lose £105 million over a rolling three-year period. And a lot of people think that Chelsea will need to sell players this summer. Maybe somebody like Conor Gallagher because he's homegrown and if they were to sell him for £50 million, that would be pure profit in their accounts. That is something that we're going to have to wait and see. But at the moment... Chelsea on their website today are saying despite the loss, the club continues to comply with UEFA and Premier League financial regulations.